we get started, please consider smashing that like button and subscribing if you enjoy our content. Don't forget to hit the bell to turn on notifications for future updates. Okay, what's up guys? It's Kenny G and we're here to take a look at some images that just leaked today. Uh, someone was sharing them on Twitter. I clicked on their link and it brought me here where I discovered a whole whack of um, supposedly it is leaked artwork or artwork that was for the movie but didn't make it into the movie so uh yeah we're gonna do a little stepping through some of the images maybe not all of them well you know what we'll try to get through all of them if we can starting here we've got the jedi temple and this looks like kylo ren at least from what i can tell this is kylo ren walking into the jedi temple and if you look around you'll see that coruscant looks desolate it looks like it's been obliterated which is crazy there's not even rubble so maybe it's just like you know filler space uh but yeah i'm not really too sure you can see smoke being like the temple's still burning so who knows it's hard to say actually next we've got uh kylo ren and he's looking at some kind of hologram i assume it's a hologram i'm not quite sure but I assume this is inside the Jedi Temple and he's learning of something in the Jedi Temple. Next we have Kylo Ren, he's following what looks like maybe a blood stain from, from someone or something. Uh, something smeared on the floor there. But uh, yeah, next we've got, okay, this actually appeared in the movie, but we've got uh, Kylo Ren and Ray confronting in uh kylo ren's room on on his uh what is it his private death star or not death star star destroyer Blech. next we've got whoa what is this we've got ray and she's holding kylo ren's lightsaber and she is pointing it at some kind of object here maybe this is this is also a lightsaber i'm not quite sure and this is obviously kylo ren and he's kneeled before her so that's interesting. I wonder if they were supposed to team up at some point. Okay, here we've got more of the uh, Star Destroyer battle that actually was in the movie. Here we've got... Here we've got Rey, and she's holding her staff. And we've got Kylo Ren sitting in some kind of fancy chair, like he's the Emperor, right? But he's, like, chill about it. He's like like a young emperor interesting though here we've got uh i was gonna say ray but maybe that is poe no, no 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 what am i saying this is ray's reflection so this is ray this is ray and she's touching like some kind of hologram or wall or something she is in the middle we've got a jedi here we've got um obi-wan kenobi or old ben kenobi and here we've obviously got um kylo ren and you can see that she is half illuminated in red and half in blue so maybe it was meant that she was gonna be like well i guess she was the balance right she was half and half maybe they would have made her a gray jedi who knows uh here we have this character who did appear in the movie i'm gonna be honest with you i cannot remember her name and that is not trying to be offensive i just legitimately cannot remember her name she was in the movie much like the spice runner lady for what five minutes or less um okay here's anakin's lightsaber and as you can see here it's been welded back together and then braced with what looks like rivets and some metal bracing it together and yes you would have to brace uh, anything that's welded butt on butt like that i know this because i've done lots of welding um if you weld things butt on butt, it's not really a, a strong weld. Like it'll hold, but it won't hold to pressure and flexing a lot, right? So you would brace it. So uh, yeah, that makes perfect sense to have bracing when you do that kind of weld. Uh, I, oh, I guess this is different ways of welding it together that they could have done, but <laughs> this looks... <laughs> this here honestly looks like a shitty exhaust repair job like something i would do on my exhaust my my uh car outside jeez um obviously finn i'm not sure if he wears this jacket in the movie or not 
I honestly blanked that out, but I don't think so. I don't think so. Here's more of Finn looking like a badass. I like this this poncho look. That's pretty cool. And this jacket's cool too. This this almost evokes like uh, a little bit of like Decker from what's that Blade Runner? Here's Poe, and he's holding uh, just a helmet. Nothing special, I guess, except for that the helmet sort of looks like the one that Ray trained with at the very beginning. That was. It wasn't the same blast shield helmet that Luke used, but similar, right? And this sort of looks like it. More of Poe, more of Poe. This one looks like a, a mix of Indiana Jones and Poe holding a, holding like a, an Uzi. <laughs> Obviously, that's not what it is. Here is more artwork of Poe in his uh, combat outfit. Then we've got uh, Princess Leia. Moving on, we've got, what is this? This looks like a ship. Oh, I think it's the Millennium Falcon from the side. And someone's running out and someone is waiting. Maybe this is just Leia waiting for them and they're coming out of the Millennium Falcon. For a second, I thought it was a different ship, but yeah, I think it's just the Millennium Falcon at like a weird angle. Here we've got um, Kylo Ren and what looks to be the planet from the actual movie. Now, I heard this, that this planet is supposed to be Mustafar, this one with all the burnt trees. And there actually is like a, a passage somewhere, written somewhere, that some, some people moved to the planet after Darth Vader was gone and started planting trees, but it didn't work. But uh, yeah, let's move on. Just more of Kylo Ren mowing down, I guess the natives, whoever's living there. Okay, okay, this is interesting because this th these are obviously of the same area. So this is obviously not meant to be Mustafar if this is to be believed as real artwork and why wouldn't it be, right? We've got Kylo Ren in what is clearly like a swamp and there would never be a swamp on a, a lava planet <laughs> like Mustafar. So we've got Kylo Ren confronting or talking to this slug lady. Oh, here's more of the slug lady. And it looks like he's using the force on her. Maybe he's lifting her, her out of the water or something. Trying to get some information out of her, no doubt. This here looks like Rey and Kylo Ren duking it out. Uh, and it looks like it is the Death Star, from what I can tell. I mean, judging from these lights and the bridge the way it is, Looks similar to the bridge that Han died on, to be honest, but I mean, it's so generic looking that it could be the Death Star. Here we've got, oh, okay, here we've got Rey with a red lightsaber, and she's come to confront Kylo Ren, and she's gonna chop his head off? Holy moly! This, bl this beam here would be like burning his hair, whoa. Okay, so, I mean, this gives you like some insight into like, holy, Rey was supposed to be a little more cruel. Oh, and he, even here we have Rey doing a force choke on Kylo Ren. Not something you'd think you would see from your um, heroine, right? Then we've got Kylo Ren, and it looks like he's lifting Finn up. And you, you can tell, well, you know, lots of people could have the same jacket, but it has those ribs along the sleeve, similar to Finn's jacket, right? So I'm assuming it's Finn. It could be anyone, though, right? This here, obviously, we know happened in the actual movie. This is just more of, I guess, his tie interceptor or whatever it's whatever they called it. I to me, it looks like a tie interceptor, but uh, I know it has a special name. This is just of the chase on that desert planet, the not Jakku, not Tatooine desert planet. Oh, okay, this is different. We've got Ray riding what looks like a speeder bike, so that's kind of cool. Oh, and it looks like a, uh, a Knight of Ren is pursuing her. Then we've got more of this the chase. Then we've got this scene here, which actually did happen in the movie. Uh, and here we've got Kylo, Kylo Ren walking away from what looks like an escape pod, maybe, wreckage. It's definitely an escape pod of some sort. It's a sphere, the cat, the, what is that? The manhole or whatever is popped open and he's walking away from it as, as it's exploding. Something went down. 
There's some wreckage here too, but I can't really tell what it is. Okay, this is kind of cool and different. Wow, this is way different. So she's, this has got to be her on the Death Star wreckage. And we all know that the Death Star is half underwater. So at some point she would have had to have swam down and she's cutting a hole in the hallway uh, for whatever reason, probably to access some chamber that's blocked off, right? So that's cool. That's cool. That would have been a, a totally different use of like, I don't know, just a way, a way better way of playing out the whole Death Star wreckage thing. So clearly the Death Star was supposed to be in the movie from the beginning. Uh, the Spice Runner. It says Ship Builder and Spice Runner. Spice Runner, Ship Builder. It just looks like storyboard of Kylo fighting Rey, but it, I don't know what it means by Ship Builder. Okay, then we've got them fighting on the wreckage of the Death Star, so no surprise there, that happened in the movie. Now we've got what looks like Kylo Ren, and this looks like the uh, Jedi Temple, maybe? I think it's the Jedi Temple still, yeah, because if you look at this next picture, it's all abandoned, and it looks like pre-Empire architecture, specifically like Coruscant-style architecture, right? Um, then we go back to more wreckage of the Death Star, or what I assume is the Death Star, right? I mean, no, that's got to be the trench here, right? So it's got to be the Death Star. Okay, okay, here we've got uh, the Star Destroyers, and they're coming out of what looks like... I don't really even know, like a Dyson Sphere or something, some, something, some kind of surface that everything is parked underneath and they're all coming out of. Uh, obviously, they're not underwater and under ice and whatnot like they were in the actual movie. Here they are actually in hangars, which makes a lot more sense, you know? So people, people aren't, you know, staffed on these Star Destroyers for ages under the ice. This is kind of cool. I don't remember this happening in the movie, but this would have been a cool scene. If it did happen in the movie, I totally blanked it out, but they're inside the Star Destroyer, or not Star Destroyer, I'm sorry, uh, Death Star, and water is pouring in, and it's there's a TIE fighter here being pushed around. Maybe that was in the movie? I don't think so. Mm -hmm have to watch it again but I'm at this point I'm gonna wait until it's like on Netflix or I guess it's gonna be Disney Plus right wait till it's there and watch it uh, revision of the TIE fighter interesting we've got Star Destroyer artwork nothing special here we've got what looks like Kylo Ren set a bunch of people on fire uh, maybe or they're dancing maybe they're dancing around the fire actually like it's some kind of ritual and they're burning something. I don't know, it looks looks super evil. Here's that planet that we're on for like five minutes in the movie where they erase C-3PO's memory. But besides that, I can't really remember much. Uh, oh, interesting, it looks like... Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Facebook just sent me a notification and made a big loud ding. Uh, okay, anyways, what I was trying to say is this looks like the same planet that C-3PO gets his memory erased, but uh, Chewie gets captured here instead of on that desert planet, like in the actual movie. Here we've got more of Rey swimming. Here we've got what looks like Rey confronting Dark Rey, maybe? It's gotta be Rey versus Dark Rey. Look at all these helmets. These are all Stormtrooper helmets floating in what I assume is acid. But this, oh no, you know what? This is probably the Star Destroyer and it's overgrown. And this is just trooper helmets floating in water because outside there's a storm raging, just like, you know, this here. There's water pouring here too. It's just more of Ray traversing and more of Ray traversing. And here we've got Kylo Ren. I think that's his TIE fighter and all the Sith troopers, which, they didn't get much screen time. For for all of like the hype I was seeing about the Sith Troopers before the movie came out, I can't remember seeing them that much in the movie. Maybe for a moment near the end. 
Uh, yes, and here is Kylo Ren walking with or between a whole whack of Sith Troopers, which would make more sense. He's in command of the Sith Troopers, not the Emperor. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, I haven't seen a single photo or picture, sorry, of the Emperor yet. We'll see if one comes up. Um, yeah, I mean, this is part of the final conflict, right? So this part where they're riding on horses, attacking the stormtroopers on, I assume, yeah, this is definitely a Star, Star Destroyer because you can see the neck of the Star Destroyer here. Uh, so that was planned from the beginning, I guess. Um, and this looks like the First Order or the Final Order, I'm not sure which, raiding a resistance base. Here we've got more of Rey swimming. Oh, there's the, the holocron, I guess, here, and she's swimming to go get it. Okay, so yes, the holocron was not stored in the Emperor's... You know, that makes so much more sense. The, the Emperor's room didn't have to be like, okay, we need to go back to the exact room where they dueled in Episode 6. So this is a completely different area, and it's submerged underwater, and that other one, uh, that other piece of art where we saw her cutting a hole to get into, I assume, this area. And then she's swimming to go get the holocron or whatever it is, right? Some kind of wayfinder. Okay, more of her. She Now I assume she's leaving the Death Star. Now she's confronting Kylo Ren on some reflective surface. I mean, maybe this is the same surface that all of those Star Destroyers were coming out of. I'm not really sure. Hard to tell. What just looks like a sunrise. Mm, I'm not sure what that's showing. Okay, here again we've got Kylo Ren walking through, uh, oh, I guess a chamber of Sith troopers. Okay, this looks like the Luke and Leia training. But Leia has a pink lightsaber, that's funny. That's pretty funny, and Luke's still got his green one. That is really funny, actually. I mean, yeah. Okay, so it's Luke training Leia, and Luke still has his green lightsaber, and Leia has a pink like lightsaber. Now, here's more. Maybe they thought, okay, maybe they didn't keep that in. I, I think that would have been kind of cool, but maybe they took it out because they thought it was sexist for girls to have pink lightsabers. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I could see where that could be touchy, right? Um, but, I mean, another color. I mean, Mace Windu had a purple lightsaber, and Rey has a yellow one at the end. So, I mean, it would have been cool to see a pink one. I wouldn't have even minded, but I could see certain people cringing and being like, they gave the girl the pink lightsaber? I guess it makes sense they took it out, right? Uh, here they're confronting on that same... I think this is still his quarters. More artwork of that. More Here's some artwork of Rey when she trashed her, uh... TIE Fighter, she stole from Kylo Ren. And here is Kylo Ren looking respectable with short cut hair. Uh, not like my shaggy gross hair. More of Kylo Ren and I guess this is when he takes off his jacket. We've got Rey here with her lightsaber, nothing special. Whoa, what is this? We've got Kylo Ren torturing, I assume, Chewbacca here. Yeah, that is an ominous look there, isn't it? Okay, now this this here speaks to me because when I heard about... Well, okay, no. Let me back up. When, when Rey was introduced and she had the staff and then when Rey was becoming a Jedi, I was like, okay, she's going to have a dual lightsaber. It just makes sense. She's a staff wielder. It makes sense for her to have... Uh, a staff-based lightsaber. Now, it's not the same style as um, Darth Maul's, which was a much smaller hilt. This one is humongous, so she could use it as a staff for fighting as well as a lightsaber for fighting. So, And she's tr obviously training with these droid things or whatever these things are that are in a couple of Star Wars movies. Oh, that's the last picture. Okay, so what did you guys think of all that artwork? I hope uh, it proved to be interesting. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, we didn't see a single picture or piece of art of the Emperor. And in fact, sort of implied that he's not even in the movie because Kylo Ren is commanding the Sith Troopers. There's some 
artwork here that suggests that she turns evil. I mean, maybe she was always supposed to be Palpatine's daughter, but uh, it, not Palpatine actually appearing in the movie, if you know what I mean, right? Because it looks like she's evil. And maybe, maybe he would turn to the good side and she would go evil. It would be interesting to see that that flip-flop in the final movie, right? It would be totally different than the uh, the typical route that they went, right? The obvious route. So, yeah. Um, no no emperor at all, which, which to me at least, you know, says that he wasn't planned from the beginning like they've been saying, right? They've been saying since uh, Star Wars... Episode 7. No, 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 no. What am I saying? Since this movie came out, they've been saying that the plan was, since Episode 7, to have the Emperor come back. But there was never even, like, the slightest hint of that. But now, we're looking at the artwork, and you can clearly see that he's not in any of the artwork. And uh, it looks like Kylo Ren, at least at some point, is in charge of the Sith Troopers. So, t totally different. Now, of course, you know, concept art never translates... 100% to movie, but it usually kind of stays along the same lines at least. Whereas we can see the concept art and then we can clearly see that it does not line up with the movie very much besides like the Death Star stuff, the Death Star wreckage stuff. Anyways, I hope you had uh, an okay time, a good time checking out this art with me and hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please consider smashing like if you enjoy the video. Uh, because we're just a tiny itty bitty channel and we're trying to grow. We have done other Star Wars coverage in the past, including what our thoughts on the movie uh, and a bunch of trailer reactions, as well as the anime trailer re reactions for the Star Wars, like the prequel and the original trilogy and whatnot, and some other stuff. I think there's some pod racing stuff there too. Anyways, if you enjoy the content, please smash like, consider subscribing. We appreciate you. Have a good day. Hey guys, this is Lydia. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button. Give us a couple likes and a share. The likes are super important because every time you like, it gives our uh, channel a bit more exposure. So please like. If you don't want to follow, at least like. Please, please, please. Also, um, if you want to chat, please leave a comment uh, down below. Also, if you want to chat more frequently, we are on Twitch. Uh, the channel is called Super underscore Dorkalicious, and we stream pretty much daily, and uh, we'll like video games karaoke fun stuff so just uh pop on over to twitch super underscore dorkalicious and definitely engage with us so um but for now please like and share and subscribe and uh we'll see you next time